Well, here I am. Barnelli Claire, he's made it to the North Pole. Well, almost. I've got one more sled dog Uber ride that way. Supposed to be here any minute now. And I'm going to sit down, have a chat with Santa, find out what is going on up there. I don't know if I'm the first human reporter to ever encounter Santa at the workshop on North Pole, but I really need to talk to him about what I learned about in Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Sure, it's a cute, funny, enjoyable Christmas song until you really dig into the lyrics and you think about Rudolph, what he's had to endure for hundreds of years. How long has Santa been around? Hundreds of years, 600, maybe a thousand, and more to come. So the treatment of Rudolph, I think, really needs to stop. And <laughs> I ain't going to be firm with jolly old Saint Nick. He may not be so jolly when I've unloaded on him. So, my Uber's coming. I have to go. As a young boy watching the animated classic Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer on TV, I always imagined myself as Hermie the Elf, befriending Rudolph and showing him kindness he had never seen. Hello, I'm Parnell Claire. Welcome to my program, Christmas Song Lyrics. A Deep Analysis. Today we'll explore together the popular children's Christmas song, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. On the surface, this familiar song suggests a happy time at Santa's workshop at the North Pole, leading up to Santa's annual trip around the world to deliver presents with his sleigh and with the help of his unpaid feral flying reindeer. Have you ever stopped to contemplate the images of bullying, verbal abuse, and ostracizing of poor Rudolph, he of red-nosed fame? Ask yourself, who stood by idly and said nothing? Santa. Is this the example we want to set for our children? Of course not. So let us consider together the true revelations of this popular Christmas song. While it is commonly known that Mrs. Claus was barren and unable to conceive and give old, overworked Santa an heir, both the Clauses never should have tolerated the treatment poor Rudolph was given by the other reindeer. Beyond not being, beyond not being invited to play in all the reindeer games, what are those exactly? Isn't it odd that Rudolph was suddenly loved, wanted, needed, and welcomed into the fold when his glowing red nose could guide the sleigh? When approached by Santa on Christmas Eve, Rudolph could have been as mean, petty, immature, and reckless with his language as the other reindeer had been toward him and told Santa, do what? Saying, Nick, you can just kiss my keister. But the most famous reindeer of all did not do that. No, he was a bigger man, reindeer, male deer, person. Nonetheless, we must take Santa to task for making light of the mockery and teasing Rudolph has had to endure for hundreds of years, all while doing nothing to improve Rudolph's home situation. Well, enough yapping and carping from me. Let's look at the lyrics to this popular song right now. Hope I can remember this song by heart. You know there's Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose and if you ever saw it you would even say it glows. 
All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph play in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him, as they shouted out with glee, Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in history. He sure he would. Thank you for joining me today to examine the real meaning hidden behind these well-known Christmas song lyrics. Have a safe and Merry Christmas with your family, loved ones, neighbors, co-workers, and even that stranger who loudly bangs on your door as your opening presents because his Tesla ran, a, ran out of juice on the highway a quarter mile down the road from you. Hey, range anxiety. With EVs, it is real, man. If it's that erratic, intolerable hothead Elon Musk driving it, then feel free to show him back to your curb. Otherwise, invite them in and offer them a tall glass of pure Hiram Walker's peppermint schnapps. Santa's drink of choice. Merry Christmas. Tiffany, Bambi, one of you, could we go ahead and run that slideshow that uh, illustrates the points I've been making? One of you. Tiffany, you want to put the white claw down and get those slideshows into the... We, yeah, we're in editing now. Put the white claw down. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. What's this? An anonymous letter from the elves. What? Rudolph has been called names, teased, never included in the reindeer games, laughed at. Well, this certainly must stop. I'll have a little more liquid courage and I'll go have it. Talk with all of the reindeer. <laughs> I have to ask you, how many children watching this stage play were horrified to see human heads protruding from the tracheotomy-enabled throats of the reindeer? I cannot unsee that.